and welcome to the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm sure you're keen to get into that hot seat, so let's get started. OK, let's take a quick check on the rules. Up to four of you can play the game and each of you will need to choose adult or junior questions. Then, for the first time ever, you'll be able to choose the type of questions you'd like to answer. There are three categories. General knowledge, entertainment and sport. Simply choose one and stick with it. All you need to do then is answer the 15 questions that stand between you and a virtual one million pounds. As always, you can walk away at any time and there are the usual three lifelines available to you. Ask the audience, 50-50 and phone a friend. If you make it all the way to a million, you could be jetting off on a luxurious family holiday by entering our competition. So grab your remote control and let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Select the difficulty and category of questions you'd like to play. Great, you're having a go at the entertainment questions. Fifteen of them stand between you and a virtual million pounds. The first five of those questions can bank you a guaranteed thousand pounds. Take a look at question number one. A good start, that's the right answer. A nice easy question for £200. It's early in the game to be giving me a wrong answer, but you haven't. You've given me the right answer. Well done! Now, you've not used any lifelines, so they are still all available if you need them on this £300 question. Well done. You've won £300. Let's get you up to £500 with question number four. That's right, well done. This is the last chance that you could leave us with absolutely nothing. Please don't do that. Here comes question number five. Well, that was the last chance you could leave with nothing. And you won't be. Well done. It's the right answer. That's what I like to see. Five correct answers and £1,000 safely in the bank. This is where things hot up a little bit, though, as we try and turn that £1,000 into at least 32000 Here comes question number six. Now, remember, you still have all three lifelines remaining. You had £1,000, you've now got £2,000, well played. Very well done, you've yet to touch any of your three lifelines and a correct answer here will win you £4,000. Lots of luck, here comes the question. You had £2,000, I can tell you it was the right answer. You doubled your money to 4,000. Well, I like games like this. You're on 4,000 pounds and you have all three of your lifelines still intact. You are just three questions away from the next milestone. And the first of those questions is worth 8,000 pounds and is coming up now. Are you sure you want to play this question? If this is wrong, you lose £3,000. But it's not wrong, you just won £8,000! OK, things are getting a little bit more serious now. £16,000 is a lot of money. And that's how much you can win by giving me the right answer to question number nine. The drop, if you get this wrong, though, has gone up to 7000 so think carefully before you give me an answer. You had 8,000 pounds. 
You've just doubled it to £16,000. Well done. Well, a magnificent performance from you so far. Nine correct answers, and you've not yet had to use any of your three lifelines. If you can give me a tenth correct answer, you guarantee yourself £32,000. I must remind you, though, at this stage, if you do give me a wrong answer, you drop right back to 1,000. Have a look at this question. Take your time. Tell me if you want to play. Okay, I won't keep you in suspense. It's the right answer. You just won £32,000. You can breathe a sigh of relief now. You will not be leaving with anything less than £32,000. And you might as well play the next question as you now have nothing to lose. Get this right and I'll be giving you £64,000. Have a look, here it comes. Aha, audience, time for you to get involved and help win us a bit of cash. Have a look at the question and vote A, B, C or D on your keypads All vote now. Well, that's quite a split decision. C is the most popular answer, but only just. Is it enough of a majority to persuade you to go for it? So, you've chosen to phone one of your friends. Now, choose one of them to help you. Sorry, but I don't know. I can't even guess this one. You'll have to guess yourself. Oh dear, if you were banking on that to win you some cash, you'd better think again. You have just won £64,000. Amazing, brilliant. This next question is worth £125,000. Now, I'm not saying you won't know the answer, but should you find it tricky, then you do still have a 50-50 to take away two wrong answers. You would lose the £32,000 you've just won if you did give me a wrong answer here. Here it comes. Lots of luck. Right, let's not waste any time. I have to tell you that... You gave me the right answer. Fantastically well played. You just won £125,000. The next question is worth a quarter of a million. It's number 12 of a possible 15. You've only got one lifeline remaining, so you can go 50-50 on this question if you think it might help. And before you play, please remember that a wrong answer here would cost you 90 £3,000. The very best of luck to you. Here comes that question. You could be about to become a quarter of a millionaire. Or, of course, you could be about to lose £93,000. You've just given me the right answer. Terrific. You could now go all the way. Well, things are still going very well indeed. You just keep giving me the right answer and I keep handing you bigger and bigger and bigger sums of money. I do have even more money that I could give you, starting with a virtual check for £500,000. But only if you can answer this next question. OK, you want to use your 50-50 lifeline. Computer, can you take away two wrong answers for us, please? Well, 
we're looking at two answers. One is correct, one isn't. And you've given me the correct answer. It's worth £500,000. Right, here we go then. This is your one and perhaps only ever chance to win one million pounds. You have no lifelines left, so you are either going to have to make a complete guess or, of course, you may well just know the answer. I should remind you of the massive amount of money you could lose, but think of what you could win. The best of luck, everybody here is rooting for you. In which city was Shane Ward, winner of the 2005 series of The X Factor, born? Birmingham, Manchester, Liverpool, Bristol. And I have to check that you are really going to play this question. Is this your final answer? Amazingly, you've decided to play the million pound question. Now, you could have walked away with half a million pounds, but instead, you are walking away with one million pounds. You're a winner, fantastically well done. Not only have you won a million, you've also got the chance to enter a draw to win a fantastic, all expensive paid family holiday. Just text the winning code to the number on your screen. Very well done and thanks for playing the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire?